Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Knight Frank are one of Britain's largest sort of property uh, management, estate agent, uh, property advisory groups. They're an absolutely massive company, billion pound company. Uh, and so when they analyze what's happening within uh, the property sales and property rental sectors of this country, you'd be sure to listen because they know exactly whereof they speak. And especially when you get their, one of their, their top specialists by the name of Tom Bill, his name. He is the domestic rental sector um, director. He's been analysing it and he's saying that there's going to be an absolute um, massive, like, you know, groundswell of change. We're talking evolutionary level change in the property markets in this country, and all because of the Labour Party and their policies with regards mainly to tax, but also with the controls they want to put in on landlords. He's saying one of the big things will be the uh, change to stamp duty. Uh, another one would be, the, and particularly with the rental market, will be the massive changes and the uplift uh, for capital gains tax, with the reductions of capital gains tax allowance and the lifting up of the rates of which capital gains will be applied on property and things like this. Uh, these two things alone, he says, will put immense pressures on existing landlords to sell up and exit the sector. This, of course, will be bad news for those renting properties. Where are they going to go? After all, if they could afford to buy a place, they would have. And all of a sudden, there aren't going to be any rental places. Um, on top of this, the government are planning changes to landlords uh, in terms of the law and evictions. They're abolishing Section 20 or Section 21, the no-fault eviction. They're going to change the way in which evictions happen. It can't be just done over you know, a quick period. It's going to take much longer. There has to be uh, an environmental and mental welfare element to evictions so that if you have a tenant and evicting this tenant will prove detrimental to the tenant's health physical or mental then you cannot evict them this is crazy as soon as they mentioned this everyone knew that the gig was up they all knew landlords are going to get out of this why should a landlord who bought the house or was left the house in a will perhaps why should they be responsible for the mental and physical health of their tenants? They need to sell that house for cash purposes or whatever, or they're retiring, or they, they need it for themselves. Who knows? And then they can't because the, the tenant might be a bit anxious. This is a, as bad as it gets. Um, supply and demand. The supply and demand curve is going to go through the roof, as in no supply, massive demand. That will lead to the fastest raising of rents possibly in history. Um, and no one will. Well, here's the thing. You say nobody will be able to afford them. There'll be so few rental properties that some will. Every one of them will still rent out because there's always going to be someone who can afford it. But that market will be so high that most people can't. And so for those remaining few rental properties, Rents will be absolutely prohibitive to most people. And uh, uh, homelessness will be through the roof. And local councils, of course, don't have the ability to house people. Um, this high rental growth will increase homelessness. The lack of properties will increase homelessness. All these landlords then taking their cash out of homes where they would be paying, say, let's say, what's the word I'm looking for here? What do they pay? Commission to uh, agents and things. That reduces the profitability of agents. When there's maintenance issues, that's reducing the profit going into the people who go and do, say, gas checks or fix repairs or to the likes of B&Q and home base when you have to go and buy things to maintain the properties. That's all money that's coming out of that economy. And what are the landlord's going to do with that cash once they've got it? They just invest it in the stock market. That doesn't generate, that generates wealth for them, but it doesn't put the money into the economy. 
This is bad news all round, but you don't expect a Labour government to understand this because they're always idiots. They're always lacking in terms of knowledge of how an economy works. This Labour government has already screwed over the elderly. It's about to screw over the tenants. It's funny how all their policies seem to be aimed at harming the most vulnerable. It's almost as though they're doing it on purpose. Now, it doesn't matter how many houses they say they're going to build. They're not. They're just not going to build anything close to what they say. And with the idea now that virtually every house they do build will be handed over to immigrants. We saw just yesterday, 700 odd come over in a few boats. There's been 131,000 this year alone. And they want to build, you know, 300,000 houses a year. Not a hope in hell. Now, 131,000 and we're only in August. They're going to keep coming. And you've already got the waiting list as it is. If they built 370,000 houses a year, it wouldn't be enough. They're not going to build 200,000. They'd be hard pushed, I think, to build 150. And I know because I've worked in the building industry myself for 35 years as an accountant, as an operations manager. I know that this isn't going to happen. And so what you're doing with this Labour Party is they're increasing misery. They're increasing poverty. They're increasing uh, homelessness. They're attacking the vulnerable. They're not aiming their help at the indigenous population. They seem to concentrate only on the illegal immigrants. And they're saying, screw you to the pensioners. Meanwhile, the rich are getting the hell out of Dodge. I'm not rich, but I'm looking to go. I've got my house. I've got a little bit of money. I'm not in any way rich. But what I want to do is take what I've got and run and not let the Labour government have it. And you look at what they want to do with things like um, inheritance, upping inheritance tax from 40% to 55%, cutting the threshold and dis you know not allowing gifting out to try and save that beforehand. They want to tax gifting. What's the point of writing a will? You might as well just hand it all over to the government. And then, of course, if I fall ill, instead of my max amount paid of 85,000, oh no, it's all, it's all the way. My next door neighbour might not have a pot to piss in. Me and him will get the same level of care. The difference is he isn't paying a penny because he hasn't got a pot. And I'm going to have my house taken over, the house I wanted to leave my son. No, that goes to the government because I'm ill. People with money will leave. And when that happens, how poor is Britain going to be? Because I know for a fact if I go, I'm probably not coming back at my age. There'll be a lot of people like that. This government is doing everything it can to screw this country into a North Korean misery poverty cycle. And you won't be able to complain. The moment you complain, you'll be locked up. What do you do? Protest. They won't listen, but you can protest. And you keep protesting until they ban protests. It'll happen. Thanks a lot. Bye.